take a couple of breaths here just so that you have a nice straight spine straight spine shouldn't be moving and you're going to be bringing your hands by your chest if you feel you can go a bit further nice and slow for this first round let's get going as you inhale stretch your arms up as you exhale out the nose you close your hands into a fist and we get going for 10 keeping the eyes closed Last one. Once you finish keeping your eyes closed, you can relax your hands on your lap, hands facing upwards. Couple of normal breath, just relaxing into the body, just feeling, noticing maybe the energy already moving throughout the body. If you have any difference of pressure in the ears, you might slow down or even stop for normal breathing. Otherwise, going for the second round, hands by your shoulders. Maybe going a little bit stronger if you feel you can take it deep inhale in through the nose. Out through the nose. And we get going. Last one. Again, relaxing your hands on your lap, palms facing upwards. Just feeling into the body. And again, if you feel fine, we're going maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit faster for the third round. Getting ready and you get pumping. your hand on your lap, eyes closed, feeling deeply into the body. Just notice the prana, the life force moving throughout the body. Fine. We're going maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit faster for the third round. Getting ready and you get pumping. your hand on your lap, eyes closed, feeling deeply into the body. Just notice the prana, the life force moving throughout the body. Fine, we're going maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit faster for the third round. Getting ready and you get pumping. your hand on your lap, eyes closed, feeling deeply into the body. Just notice the prana, the life force moving throughout the body. In through the nose. together or slightly apart, Tadasana, standing nice and tall, <coughs> shoulders relaxed and you can bring your hands to touch in front of your heart, feeling the breath, so nice and slow, you can stretch your arms up, looking up, so going nice and easy at the beginning until we get warm, opening the arms, keeping the arms parallel in line with your body, nice and slow, you can start to hinge at your hip level, so see if you can keep your spine nice and flat, fingertips, crown of the head, reaching forward, bending into the knees at the start until you warm up and you fold all the way down, fingertips to the floor, stepping your left leg back, far back, so nice big giant step, 
releasing your back knee on the floor, point your toes. So making sure that your front knee is 90 degree angle right under your armpits. And you look up, looking up is very important. So we're pushing the hips down, stretching the hip flexors, hamstring, spiny straight, and the slight pressure into the neck is working on the nervous system. Nice and slow, we release hands into the floor, tucking the back toes, stretching your right leg back, moving into Chaturanga. So Chaturanga, your hips are not too low, not too high. This is not down dog yet. Nice and strong, long line of energy from your heels through your hips to your shoulders, shoulders of your wrists, looking forward. We move into Ashtanga, dropping the knees, and now very important, pay attention, see if you can keep your hips as high as possible, and you start arching into your lower back, bending into your elbows, keeping the elbows in close to the body, you start bringing the weight of the body into your shoulders, chest, forehead to the floor, so stomach doesn't touch, nice arch into your lower back, so just like a caterpillar, slowly releasing all the way down onto your abdomen, you point your toes, pressing top of the feet, pubic bone onto the earth, you can start to peel your heart off using your back muscles, only going as high as comfortable for your own body. Nice and slow, you release, tucking your toes under, pushing onto your hands, you can stretch your hips back and up. Adhumukasvanasana, your down dog. Nice and easy. And then moving your left leg forward right between your hands, so you might need to help with your hand for some people. Or the technique, always good fun. You can Wrap the mat with your toes so that you move your foot forward right between your hands. Again, 90 degree angle into your front knee right under your armpits. Back leg is relaxed, toes pointing back and you look up, rolling your eyes upwards. Nice and slow, releasing, looking down, stepping forward. Maybe still a soft bend into your knees and you can start to roll your spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Head come last, hands all the way up palms together and you can release your palms back down to your heart so this completes one cycle now on the second cycle we're going to be adding the breath pattern so breathing in through the nose out through the nose each movement corresponds to one breath so i take you through this palms together as you inhale in through the nose you stretch your arms up Opening your arms, keeping your arms parallel in line with the body, nice and slow as you exhale out the nose, you start folding forward, stick bending into the knees if you feel you need to, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, wrap right leg back this time, again you drop your knee, point your toes, look up, rolling your eyes upwards to your third eye. Moving into Chaturanga, planting your hand, you hold your breath, so nice and strong line of energy. As you exhale into Ashtanga, knees, chest, forehead, so keeping the elbows off the floor, close to the body. Nice and slow, you release all the way down, point your toes, inhale, moving maybe a little bit higher, using love and kindness towards your body, so only as high as comfortable for your own body. As you exhale, you release, tuck your toes, pushing back, Adhukasvanasana. On your next inhale, slipping your right leg forward between your hands, you drop your knee, point your toes, look up. Exhale, you release, looking down, stepping forward. Still bending to your knees if you feel you need to. Nice and slow as you inhale, you come all the way up, palms together. And as you exhale, you release this experience back down to your heart. Now we. Om Namaha, inhale, stretch your arms up, look up. Exhale, falling forward. Inhale, left leg back, look up. Maybe bring your hands flat on the floor if you feel you can go further. Tucking your toes, hold your breath, Chaturanga. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead, elbows are off the floor, close to the body, releasing onto your abdomen, point your toes. Inhale, lifting your chest, maybe you can move into your full Bhujangasana, straightening your elbows, relaxing into the shoulder blades, looking up. Exhale, you release, tuck your toes, push back. Adhamukasvanasana, down dog. The inhale, left foot forward, right between your hands, all in control using your core muscles, looking up. Exhale, coming back, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, nice and strong. Palms together. Exhale, you release back down to your heart. Om Ravena Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, this time right leg back. 
Drop your knee, point your toes. Look up, rolling your eyes upwards. Hold your breath. Chaturanga, plank position, nice and strong. Exhaling into Ashtanga, knees, chest, forehead, so arching into the spine. Inhale, scooping up into your full Bhujanasana. Look up, relax into the shoulder blades using your core muscles. The exhale, you can stretch back into your down dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Look up. Exhale, coming back, forward fold. Inhale, thrusting all the way up. Pressing your feet into the earth. Reaching your fingertips right up to the sky. Exhale, you release. And we keep going, so keep breathing, keep moving with the breath. You can start going a bit deeper into each of the asanas if you feel warm. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, left leg back, look up. Hold your breath, Chaturanga. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, scooping up into your full Bhujanasana, looking up. Exhale, rolling over your big toes, stretch back. Inhale, left leg forward, look up. Exhale, coming back, forward, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Again, switching legs as you inhale, right leg back. Look up. Hold your breath, Chaturanga. Exhale into Ashtanga, moving with love and kindness. Inhale, stretching up, looking up. Bhujanasana. Exhale. Stretch your hips back. Down dog. Inhale. Right foot forward. Still 90 degree angle into your front leg. Exhale. Looking down. Coming back to your forward foot. Inhale. Rising up. And we keep going. We're going for a few more rounds like this. Keep following. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold your breath. Eyes closed, hands together, and as you exhale, you release your namaskar through your heart, arms by your side, palms facing forward. And you just feel in the body, feel the energy that is moving throughout the body. And if you have a good balance, you might keep your eyes closed to come down on your back for a quick shavasana. Stretching your legs, arms by your sides, palms facing upwards. Relax.